Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy 15. So we're well past the part where I did anything off camera. Now it's all it's all new to me. Um, the fishing thing was new to me too, but um, I at least made it this far in the story before. So okay, now we are stuck, at least for a little while, until we do whatever the journalist wants us to do. Which is up there, so the easiest way to get up there is going to be driving, no doubt. So did we, we must have passed that on our way up here, or down here, however you want to say it. So let's get back to the car. Um, I guess technically the fastest way would be to fast travel, but just run there. Um, you know what, we should also grab some, let me grab some blizzard stuff first though. We can barely just leave this stuff out here and it'll just teleport to our next spot, so that's not even a worry. Yeah, let's absorb all this. Yeah, because I used most of that last time. Okay. And I think that's the only one we're short on. I think we have... I think we're full up on fire and electricity. Okay, so we need to go to our car. Assuming there's no bad guys here, and it doesn't look like there are. Should be a pretty straightforward push here. We could fish some more, and that'd be kind of nice, but... Not gonna worry too much about that right now. I mean, up leveling up fishing ability could be good. Um, if there's a way to get treasure, that'll also be pretty good. But I think for right now, we'll just go ahead and do the quest. Try to see if we can get the boat here. Somehow, some way, that reporter is responsible for the boat somehow, and I'm really confused. Um, yeah, so quest location, we want to do gentleman's agreement. Let's all get in. Ready for more? You bet. Let's we did hit it. We did just gas up the car, so we should be fine. Man, that is so cool. Gets rid of a lot of trunk space, but still really cool. Maybe Sid was right about your lack of dignity. You're one step above delivery, boy. <laughs> your royal rank carries little weight outside the Crown City. Glad it's not weighing me down. I mean, it's, there's a point to be made there for sure. I mean, we are kind of roaming all around town for other people. We're supposed to be going for the whole wedding thing, but that's clearly not happening for whatever reason. So somebody must have sabotaged the ferry or delayed it somehow, but how do you do that? I'm really confused how the reporter's involved. I mean, clearly the mysterious stranger's involved somehow. We just don't know how yet. Dude, what are you doing, Prompto? You gotta sit down. I mean, they don't have seatbelts either, so that's a little disturbing. Oh, and then Noctis just sits on the back. Yeah, sure, why not? You're all teenagers, you don't know you're gonna die, so why not just go stupid stuff like that? This car crashes, you're in a world of hurt. In the right spot? According to the map. Let's scope it out. Okay, so yeah, we can totally just pull over on the side of the road whenever we need to. Good to know. Okay. And this is supposed to be it. So there's supposed to be gems here or something? Oh, you know what? We didn't pick up any uh, any repair stuff for the car. We should totally do that. Um, now the mineral deposit's gone and moved. Oh, okay. So it's a waypoint system. I got you. I got you. I got you. Well, there's a forage thing to our left, but let's just let's keep on track. Otherwise, we could get severely lost here. Because the waypoint's already moved. Be funny he's trying to lure us into an ambush, right? Funny, expected, one of those. Oh, hello. Gemstones? Rock and roll! No, gold dust. I mean, I guess. Silver dust. And some more silver dust. Okay, so not the gemstones he was looking for. <laughs> oh, M. G. The hell. We're supposed to get near that thing? Pipe down before you wake it up. Um, is this the thing that tried to dive bomb us earlier? How in the world? Just be careful. Um, maybe go around it? I don't think we can go. Well, we can go around this side. It's asleep. Yeah, we stay out of the red zone. I think we might be okay. Just look at the mini map. Oh, shit. It's okay, Prompto. It's okay. It's okay. 
we stay out of the red zone, maybe we'll be fine. Okay, this is a problem. The red zone extends that far. We, we just gotta be careful, guys. And there's another guy over here, which is also... Oh, that's his tail. That's his tail. We only go so far, though. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, that's that's the stone we need, right there. Just don't wake it up, guys. Okay, not the red zone I was expecting. Okay. We got it. Let's get the hell out of here. Like right now would be good. So not the red zone I thought it was. Because otherwise it'd still be active, right? I'm so tempted to just drop. I think we just... Can we take the health hit? We should just take the health hit. I think it was worth it. Um, because we're... Come on, guys. Drop. 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 It's okay. You can survive the fall. You can survive the fall. Come down here. Holy shit. If we had been there, we would be dead. Ignis is already almost dead. Off it goes. Okay. Sorry, Ignis. Didn't think you'd get pummeled like that. <laughs> None the less for that. We didn't get any XP. Because it rolled away. But, um... I'm glad I dropped. So, is that supposed to kill us? They'll eventually teleport down to me, right? Yeah, here they are. Okay, so they jump down or teleport down or something. Okay. So the reporter tried to set us up for death there. Kind of seems like the answer is yes. So I'm not sure how he thought that was going to go. I mean, maybe it's fine, but... Um, hold on, let me look at the map, see if there's anything else around here. There's a campsite, which I don't even worry about right now. And then the mining sites we saw along the way, which I'm not going to worry about either. So in that case, I think we're totally fine. Let's go ahead and go back over. Um, yeah, do auto and quest location and go back to this guy. And we also need to turn in the piece on the beach thing. Um, no, we're just gonna we're gonna take the car. It's fine. Everything in order. Yep. All right. It's interesting. It costs you gill to fast travel. Is that supposed to represent the fuel you would use? I don't know, that, that seems a little strange. But I guess at a certain point, Gil is going to be like a non-issue, right? That's usually how RPGs work. You struggle for a little while with the cash flow problem, and then suddenly it all just kind of disappears. We're not there yet, I don't think. We have no idea what like the next level of weapons are going to be, so that'll be a good indicator. But for now, I think... For now, we're in a decent spot. I just don't want to waste 10 gil for no reason. It's a short enough drive. If it was a super long drive, I would totally consider just saying screw it in fast traveling. Then it's a loading screen. I mean, this is technically a loading screen, right? I mean, they're, they're cleverly disguising it in the form of travel and changing scenery, but it's totally a loading screen. This time quest thing just keeps coming up. It's okay, man. We're not, we're not going to do them. It's all right. Yeah, go into the parking here. Um, we could fuel up. Um, maybe if we end up having... If the if the ferry doesn't come, then, yeah, we're going to have to go the long way. I'm mean, assuming there's actually, like, here a land are. route. We made it. Okay, I mean, it's early afternoon of the morning. It's only 10 o'clock. It's not too bad. Can we actually rent a Chocobo? It would be funny. Nope, temporal land available. All right, so that must be just a later thing. Like I said, I think we're still in the tutorial, technically speaking. So we just, we're fine. If the cat's hungry again, he's just going to have to wait because we don't have any fish. There was a pickup there? Hold on, there was a pickup there? There's totally something glowy right there. Metal scrap. Okay, just random vendor trash sitting in the middle of the dock. That's super weird. So, do you think Dino was trying to kill us? Or do you think he just 
I mean, Welcome to Golden Key. The jewel seems like it'd be valuable if it's frequently guarded by that kind of guy. It could be just a regular mining deposit, just happened to be near that. <sighs> Man, it's hot. Then lose the jacket. I don't know. I, I don't know how to take that. I guess we can confront him about it. Ask him if he actually meant to kill us, assuming we get dialogue options. It's kind of just up to Noctis and everyone else on how they actually respond to these things. It's okay, Dino. Here you go. Nice work, kid. Sorry for giving you such a hard time. I just had to get my hands on this, even if it meant blackmail. You understand, don't you? You see, I'm a reporter by day and an amateur jeweler by night. This elusive little beauty's gonna become a masterpiece. To make it up to you, I'll share a little scoop. That special coin you got? It commemorates the Oracle's ascension. That guy was tossing them out to everyone. Must have picked them up back in Niflheim. And speaking of freebies, here's one from me. Come back if you want to buy more. Why no would a souvenir like that could make its way into the hands of an ordinary citizen? Oh well, it's our pocket change now. Let's learn from history and book a place this time. Yeah, I mean, somehow he's in charge of the ferry, so let's ask him about that. As promised, I'm in the process of securing your ferry tickets right now. Told you, I'm a man of integrity. Should be smooth sailing from here. So let me know when you're ready to ship out. I admit I didn't expect Dino to secure us a ship. Yeah. Well, must be pretty connected if he can pull some strings around an Imperial embargo. Yeah, that guy's one artful artisan. I'm super confused how that works. Let's turn in our hunt quest. We still have that left to do. And there might even be another hunt. I don't remember. Um, yeah, there's usually two we can do here. Sometimes they'll let us do more. I realize it's a lot of back and forth, and we totally passed this guy on the way over, but that's fine. How does a reporter... I mean, I guess he just uses connections. It seems a little weird. Do you have another quest for us, little cat? I mean, you have a glowy mark above you. No, huh? Okay. We already got one dragon scale. I was just seeing if it was possible to get another. Not that I know what the dragon scales are used for. It seems like that might be used for, like, armor or something, but I don't know. I have no idea if you can craft armor. Or have someone craft it for you, I guess. Okay, so this is the guy we talked about the hunt thing, right? No, it's a shop. Oh, no, no, the hunt was in the... Oh, the hunt was in the diner. It was in the diner. Diner, restaurant, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so we just walked back for no reason. It's okay. Um, I suppose we could use the food. I don't know, it's noon already. I guess that could give us time for a hunt. Yeah, that'll give us enough time for a hunt, I guess. Excuse me, guys. Okay, what do you got for me? Rather sultry. Yeah. Welcome back. Okay, that hunt is complete. Making quite a name for yourself. Nice. 14,000 gills, nothing to sneeze at. Um, so she already gave us information about this place, so we don't need that. What do you feel like having today? Okay, that's high level stuff there. I mean, the level 11 stuff was already trying to kill us. What level are we right now? I'd feel better if we were like level 8. Thank are we you level 8? Level 9. Okay, 9's taking out 11's. I can see how that could cause us some problem. We have no XP right now. But I don't think taking out level 17 is the answer. So no, I think we just go. Okay, we turn in our quest. We're fine. Let's just, agree. Let's just go. Let's just go. The new place might be better. In terms of getting stuff to level up. Let's just, let's just go. You guys ready to set sail? I mean, I don't want to return for some time. Yeah, that that's fine. That's fine. Already? The ship won't arrive till tomorrow. How about you find a place to spend the night? Okay. I mean, it's there is a place time. here. Huh. Okay, we're just waiting, huh? All right. Well, that's shorter day than usual. Yeah, we 
didn't do anything really, but okay. Well, at least they're not making us spend money to rest. So that's something. Ignis is the only one who leveled up. Okay, Gladiolus got a high potion hoarder. I have no idea what that means, but okay. Very few photos in this case. We didn't do very much. Okay. Yeah, I guess only half the day passed, so Prompto still had a lot of room on his memory card. And I guess we just laid about. Well, if I'd known that, I would've just gone fishing for us today. Didn't realize that it was gonna basically kill the day for us and not give us an option to wait. Okay, here we go. That can't be good. Um, yeah, is that the shield breaking down? That looks like the shield breaking down. this guy. Well, I think the ceasefire is over. And yeah, that's Noctis' dad. Now Noctis' dad is dead. That means the king. That means he's now no longer a prince. He's a king. King is dead, all hail the king. Damn story beats. So was that a dream or did that uh, actually happen? Hey, uh, morning. They're not going to tell us, huh? Do you dream that, man? I mean, it's a beautiful place here. Where's Specs? Should be back any minute now. Specs meaning Ignis, I guess. Yeah, he just heard something? Yeah, he read the morning paper. What's that look for? You're not gonna like it. It's in all the papers. What yes. Is... Ceasefire is totally over. Insomnia false. What? This your idea of a joke? I need you to calm down so I can explain. I'm as calm as I'm gonna get! There was an attack. The Imperial Army has taken the Crown City. As treaty room tempers flared, blast lit the night sky. When the smoke about the Citadel had cleared, the King was found dead. No, wait. Hold on. We had no way of knowing. What? Knowing what? That the signing was last night. That insomnia. But the wedding! Altitia! I know. That was the plan. Yet the reports of the invasion are all the same. How could every headline in the kingdom be wrong? <sighs> Lies. Refusing to believe it doesn't make it not true. If only. <sighs> what else do we know? Well, then we can't be sure until we see it with our own eyes. And really? That means we go back to insomnia. Might not be safe for us there. Might not be safe for us here. Okay, I kind of agree with Turn Prompto. Back. Well, what about your beloved, though? What about your fiance? Do we yeah. Get... Okay, so we don't need to decide. All right. So story says we go back, so we go back. I kind of agree with Prompto. I mean. The people will need a leader, and we need to be there for them. So, yeah, we go back. And hopefully don't wreck the car again, I'm just saying. Don't know how the hell the car got wrecked before. The four cannot be sure until they see it with their own eyes. I mean, the newspapers are not going to lie to you. Not to mention we saw a cutscene. Beautifully rendered and everything. Sure, I have a movie. 
I mean, it's kind of weird that the Imperial forces, I mean, they're supposed to be signing a treaty, and yet the army was in town? That seems questionable. I mean, how the hell did the king not know? Is this total failure of intelligence there in terms of military intelligence? Not being able to spot an army that big on the move seems questionable. Okay, rainy time. Ill tidings, yeah, no shit. I hope everyone's okay. <sighs> a lot of good hoping's gonna do. Come on, Narcus. Yeah. Really? Can Faith stop a fleet of Imperial dreadnoughts? Maybe. Let's give it a rest. My old man had plenty of faith. Enough. The Empire lied. They betrayed us. Yeah, it's supposed to be a Conjecture signing. Conjecture gets us nowhere. We're searching for truth. All you'll find are lies. Like that ceasefire. Yeah, there was supposed to be a ceasefire, and then suddenly they used that... Yeah, they used the promise of peace to cut down one of their enemies. Okay, and yep, there's one of the big battleships right the now. the size of those things. Imperial dreadnoughts. They transport soldiers, namely the Magitek infantry. The robots? Mass-produced humanoid weapons of warfare, to be more precise. Doesn't look like they'll be signing that peace treaty. No kidding. Those airships are enormous. Up ahead! <laughs> Blockade. Um, yeah, that They've doesn't look friendly. inspection point. If the road ahead's blocked, then we find a way around. Yeah, because they'll be looking for the prince, right? There's no way you can just... Okay. I was saying we we ditched the car, but I guess that's not a thing. We go as far as the car will take us. I don't know how far that is. It kind of seems like they would see the car leaving the line to go down the inspection point, though. And intercept us. What do I know? Okay, well, we're at the city walls. Can we jump the city walls? Let's make a detour. There ought to be a decent vantage point up ahead. Okay, so we can't go back. Right? Because that says there's a blockade that way, so that would just get us in trouble. Alright, we go this way then. Nice, easy steps right up to city walls. Seems a little insecure. If you're wondering how insomnia was taken, this was it. We there they guys. are. Want to take them out? Oh yeah, those scrap peeps are gonna wish they had a treaty to protect them. I mean, yeah, they don't really have. If there's no treaty anymore, we should totally be able to take these guys, right? Aside from the goblins, these are the first sentries that are actually taken out. These guys are weak to guns and fire. Okay, let's trade things out then. Let's go for guns. Um, so Blizzard's not going to be useful here, so... Let's go for the Cossetus. And switch to that. And then I guess we just go ahead and start battling these guys. They're only level 3. I mean, we're level 9. This should be cake for us, right? It seems like... Yeah, so let's take out these Imperial Riflemen, then. Oh, yeah, these guys are melting right now. The reload is unfortunately a little long. Okay, dodge over. Right there! Pronto! Let me brighten your day! Oh, I see. So that's supposed to call attention. I got you. Right, I forgot calling his attention was a new technique we grabbed. Did we get anything from them? Unfortunately, no new weapons, but I guess that's just how it goes. Okay. Very linear here. Don't even worry about it. Oh, hello. You guys are all the same, right? They are all riflemen. They are all weak to fire. 
Okay, let's just take him out then. Dodge away, dodge away, dodge away. Okay. Maybe... And there is... There we go, that's, that's better. Getting hit a lot here, though. Um, I mean, yeah, take some... Can we actually do anything with this, though? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna switch to swords. Oh, that seems to hurt him a lot. I'll see that. That seems a lot better to me. Yeah. So their weakness might be guns, but they are like no match. Dude, come on. Come on, though. Really? Let me brighten your day. Oh, you know why? It's because all the other ones take two. And Prompto's the only one to take one. That's why the otherwise the other guys aren't available yet. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. There's stuff here we can do. Not much though. Yeah, just basically a bunch of stuff around here, but nothing we can really grab. I was hoping for like oh, like this over here. High elixir, I'll totally take that. There's another piece of treasure over here. Yeah, see, that's why it's worth exploring everywhere. Iron shavings. Not too bad, but not great either. But yeah, it seems like... We so out-level these guys, I think we'll actually be fine. The problem is, if we encounter, like, a level 15 guy, then this, we have some problems. Where do they keep coming from? Can't imagine what it's like inside. Is it just me, or does the music seem a little loud? I mean, that, the music's down to 50, but it seems really loud. I'm gonna turn it down to like 35. That seems overkill, but I don't know. It seemed really loud to me. Yeah, that's better. That's better. We should seek a vantage point. The hill. I mean, it's where we're headed, man. We only got one way to go here. Okay, more Imperial Riflemen. I think daggers might actually be better here. Yeah, because then I can blindside a couple of these guys. And take them out pretty fast. They have no... No chance. Sniper up top. But again, he's on level 4. We got a reflex enhancer. So a technique that takes so these are 2... Empty is not great. Okay, this guy's weak to daggers, so we totally take these guys. They're only level 6. But then we should be able to get some techniques going on. Let's do it. Empty humanoid soldiers. Soulless. Muscles. Okay. Okay, so now we have techniques. Nice. Your time has come. Okay, he's down, he's down, he's down. Nicely done, guys. Nicely done. Weapons marked with plus can be remodeled. Take your arms to Hammerhead and ask that it upgrade them. Dude, I don't know how long we're going to be here. So, Hammerhead may be like four episodes away. I have no idea. But we can go back to Sid eventually, I guess. So, that's good. All right, let's see what this vanish point's gonna give us. Assuming it's not blocked by somebody else, doesn't look like it though. All right, well, the After bridge doesn't look good. Between the two nations, all provisional terms have been suspended in light of recent developments. Moreover, in the wake of the news of King Regis's death, we've now received word that Crown Prince Noctis and the Oracle Luna Freya have also been uh -huh. pronounced. Dead. Keep it on. Oh. Don't bother. Yeah, obviously Noctis isn't dead, so that means Luna Freya may not be either. They're just trying to seize control. That's a hell of a lot of ships.
Unfortunately, they're not Hello? looking for four guys. Core. So, you made it. What the hell's going on? Where are you? Outside the city, with no way back in. Makes sense. <sighs> makes sense? Are you serious? What about any of this makes sense? The news just told me I'm dead, along with my father and Luna. Listen, I'm heading out to Hammerhead. <sighs> about the king, it's true. <laughs> if you're looking for the whole truth, you know where to find me. Get moving. Okay. Right. Back to Hammerhead, I guess. What did the marshal have to say? Nothing good. Said he'd be in Hammerhead. Yeah, he's just going around in circles at this point. And the king? Um, king's fine. He went to a farm up north. Um, you don't know it. But he's going to be very happy. He has lots of fields to run around in. Um, rabbits to hunt. You know, typical stuff. Okay, it's not quite enough to level up, I don't think. Maybe? Oh, okay, it is in fact going to be the next day. Since we ended reaching the chapter. Okay. Well, now we're all level 10. Da, 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 da. 31 AP. We might be able to afford something. But we didn't get anybody's skills leveled up. We just moved too fast along the lines, I guess. No turning back. So back to Hammerhead. Whether you want to be or not. Okay, so the piece was then... So, okay, so from the from the flashbacks, we know that Luna Freya and Noctis have known each other for at least a decade, right? So they've been setting this up that long. Clearly, Crown City is not part of the Empire. Because there was some kind of, somehow, Insomnia City, which is a weird name for a city, but whatever. Insomnia City was outside the Empire, and the Empire decided finally, no. Not gonna take it anymore. But why not just be okay with Luna Freya marrying Noctis? I mean, that's gonna fold the city into the Empire anyway. Basically. Or was the condition... I wonder if the condition instead was that... Um, Insomnia City or Crown City stays outside the Empire and they just have a peace treaty. But then Noctis would be I mean basically the Queen's consort at that point, right? Usually well not usually. Sometimes the condition for the marriage is that then you fold in the duchy, kingdom, whatever into the rest of the Empire. And that's what I would kind of assume here. Yeah, okay, we'll have peace, but, you know, your son is basically going to become the consort. She's going to be the queen. She's the one who rules. I mean, there's no way he rules, unless, for some reason, their inheritance laws are a lot different than I expect. I don't know, it just seems all kinds of strange. I don't suppose this is Luna Freya. That would be kind of silly, I guess. Oh, it's totally Luna Freya. Nox Fleurette. Okay. I mean, she's heard the news, too. Maybe she thinks... So she's not dead. So she might think Noctis is dead. Because she probably heard the news. Is that her Nana? Ring of Lushi. Lusai? Does have two eyes. It's probably Lusai. That's probably Noctis' ring. Which we're going to see in flashback of him giving it to her. Or not. I guess we have a new chapter, Power of the Kings. All right. Don't suppose the Crown's Guard is still active? Probably I not. Wouldn't count on it. Not with the Marshal out here. I wonder how things are in the city. There should be reports before long. Yeah, something this big can't go ignored. And what about us? What do we do? We make for Hammerhead now, and figure the rest out later. 
So they didn't actually tell us where Luna Freya was, but at least we know she's still alive. Got a message from my sister. She's with refugees bound for Lestalem. <sighs> well, at least Iris is okay. Yeah. Doesn't sound like everyone else was so lucky, though. We'd best make haste. Noct won't be dead forever. <laughs> no going back. Only ways forward. <sighs> no going back. Let's go. Well, I mean, he keeps going around, you know, doing stuff. People are gonna notice. Hey, doesn't that guy look a lot like Noctis? Is Noctis supposed to be dead? Yeah, but that guy looks really familiar. Hey. Glad y'all made it. <laughs> no weather for driving, that's for sure. Oh, thanks. Where's Cor? Uh, left to see the business. And left y'all a message with Papa. Yeah? Boss ain't sat still one second since he heard y'all were coming. Alright, I suppose let's go there first. We do have a quest over in the diner. We can also listen to random people. Don't know what all those flying things were, but they look like a whole lot of trouble. Have you never seen an airship before? Headed straight for the Crown City. Dude, oh. how, how have you never seen an airship before? Anyway, let's go talk to Sid. Oh, we have lots of stuff inside here. Phoenix down, which I will totally take. Oh, okay, that's it. We'll probably pick up the other one later. We need to talk to Sid first, I guess. Crystal and the King's Ring. What they've been after all along. So all talk of peace was merely a pretext. For like 10 years? It's a hell of a long con. They played my father for a fool. Don't kid yourself. Played everyone for Reggie a fool. Reggie wasn't born yesterday. Tell me he knew. There's no way. Lucius got dealt a losing hand and your old man played it the best he could. He saw this coming a mile away. And he wasn't gonna go down without a fight. Hey, we saw this. In the end, though, well, it just wasn't enough. <sighs> okay, darkest hour and all that, but how do we you how do we get back to this? Else, you talk to Cor. Why'd you pick up the wrench and then I put it down? Can't even remember the last time I saw Reggie. Feels like a lifetime ago. Oh, that's funny. They went on a car trip just like this. Okay. Speak to sit to the garage. We did that. Now what? The garage is also a lot more oh. well lit than I thought it was. Wasn't there also... Yeah, there we go. There's a thing over here. High potion. Okay, good. Didn't we just talk to Sid at the garage, though? Didn't we just do that not five seconds ago? There's something here I need to pick up. I mean, he picked up his wrench and then put it down, which is super weird. But it doesn't look like we can actually do anything here. It'd be funny if the game's bugged out, right? All right. Cora left a message. Said he'll wait for you in the tombs. There to the tombs. northwest of here. That's the short ways past the outpost. Find that first. Okay, I can also... Do another side quest for you? Interesting toy you got there. This? It's just something we picked up after taking out some Imperials. Well, I'll be Crown City Maid. If you like, I can make this puppy better. Give it more oomph. How? I can mod it for you. Mod it? Look, I got diddly squat to do what with Cindy taking care of the garage. If you can find the parts, I can do the work for you. The new dragon scale, because we happen to have one of those. Do we deliver a metal scrap? Don't we have metal scraps? I guess we could have sold them all. All right, so we can theoretically do modding there. Cindy's there. I don't know if we can do anything with Cindy there. I wonder if can she put the racing stripes on the car? The car still doesn't have racing stripes. Maybe we talk to her about that. Hey, Prince, mind if I borrow the old girl for a hot second? I just had a doozy of an idea. You're gonna love it. Promise. Remodel the Regala into the Type D and take your adventure off-road. 
I mean, if that means we don't define parking spots, that could be really good and make things move a little faster. So, I mean, we can customize the regalia. She wants to turn to the type D, though. Let's turn to type D first, then we can customize it. As long as it doesn't cost us anything, I think we're totally fine with that. Which probably means well, holy here shit. She is. Now y'all won't need to pay the roads. No, never mind. After all, limits were only made to be broken. It's a freaking monster truck. How do we even get in anymore? What okay. can I do you for? Um, I like to customize the regalia. I mean, there's be no problem finding this in a parking lot anymore. So now it's just silly, but let's do it anyway. What are y'all after today? Yeah, so we can do decals, and we have well, decals. Here's what I can do for. Her. How about the decals? Um, no. Anything I don't think so. you like? How about so like, the decals? Okay, so those are that's the racing stripe we bought. It's only left and right side. Okay, sure. Do we not have racing stripes on the right Anything side? Anything you like? Okay, we do. I mean, it seems like it should be symmetrical, right? I mean, could you give me a hover conversion? Because, you know, there are airships. It seems like there should be... How about the decals? Okay, I can also put rape stripes on the top, which I don't think is necessary. Anything you like? Rape stripes along the side? I guess it kind of works to do along the sides there. Sure. Do that, too. So we can buy more decals. How about the decals? And do stuff. Otherwise, we need components, which we don't have. We need colors. How do you want the wheels? I don't know. Vermilion? It seems silly. Everything seems silly, though. How about Nightstar Red? That looks interesting, anyway. And the interior. Gilded Orchid? Forest Green? I mean, it's already a blue and blue exterior. It just seems like black and white just works better. And we could go for, like, I don't know, a really clashing color, but... The Gilded Orchid looks okay. We'll leave Gilded Orchid. Doesn't seem to cost us anything, so sure. How's Confirmed. this? Y'all just sit tight now. Okay, here I thought the car was gonna be out of commission for like a day while she did that, but no. Okay. She's all ready for you. Have a look. I mean, I'm not sure about the monster truck regalia, but why not? Why not? Okay, so anyway, there's supposed to be a quest over at the diner. Oh, do we should we we should probably refuel, right? That was a wrong button. That was listen. Huh. Yeah, why not? I think we're down a quarter tank. It's about the right time. Okay, Cindy's doing it for us. Thank you. Guess it makes sense to run hammerhead. Actually it doesn't make any sense. Why can't Noctis just refuel it himself? It's a good question. Okay, so we are level what? We are level 10. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Sid's friends, was it? Okay, so... Did you These have like a... Here been a real pain in the rear. Level 15. There's only one of them, though. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. He's a jumbo flan, but... Appreciate it. There's only one of them. Maybe that'll be okay. He only comes out at night, of course. No, we're not going to wait until night. Take care. Okay, so there's something here. There's a quest here. Uh, oh, well, if it ain't the boys with the fancy automobile. That's us. Y'all want to fetch some edibles for me? Why are you asking us? Well, it's just an old Sid. Sid? Yep. Said I should give y'all some work. Don't matter what kind. Seeing as you boys can't go home for the time being. Got us there. So y'all gotta learn about the wider world. Now, if y'all can't find the stuff I need, it ain't no big deal, but it'd surely help me out if you could. Okay. Lucian Tomato. Alright, so that's somewhere in a forage. Somewhere. Well, I mean, we have time. So, can we run a chocobo? I'm just wondering. Another test from the old man. <sighs> he sure is hard on us. I think he's worried about us. He wants us to prove that we can make it out here. Nope, unavailable. Okay. 
Well, what's closest? I think the other way. Okay, look at the quest here. So we have the master mechanic, which we need metal scrap somewhere. Scenic delivery. All the way back down. All the way back down there. It's only 300 XP. That's not a lot. What time is it during the day? It's like... Well, that says... No, that's... The timer down the bottom left. That's the amount of time we've spent in the game. That's totally different. Okay. Meet the Marshal Plather in a step. Yeah, so that's where we need to go to do that. And there's raindrops in the night, which is there. So maybe we do need to wait till night to be able to take out the Jumbo Flan. Because Scenic Delivery is going to take us all the way back down to the key, which I don't want to do. Be a Drain Lance times one. I mean, that'd be a better weapon, a better Javelin anyway. So I would like to do that. Problem is being able to find metal scraps, which maybe we'll be able to find if we go to the mining spots. And then, yeah, then we just wait for raindrops in the night to kick in. So that one's selected now. Um, go back. Go back to the map. And then let's go ahead and mark that. There's also a couple more. There's also some treasures we didn't pick up last time. So basically go like around in a circle here. Um, we'll hit up the mining spot, wherever the hell that is, right there. Then we'll move around. And then once we hit all three of those mining spots, then we'll go back to the Weaver Wilds here and pick up that flan so we don't die horribly. We do have potions. I think we'll be okay. So that way. Okay. Actually, actually, let's see. Now that the car doesn't need to be on road, it's gonna be it's gonna take me a while to recognize it now that it's monster truck style. But yeah, if we get in, go to off-road capabilities, press circle with the green indicators that perform a jump. Smart steering will activate output so they're unfit for driving. Type D is too heavy to push, so keep your eye on the gas tank. Oh, that's dangerous. But okay, we should have plenty of cash for a gas tank, so that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so can you do auto here? So what I want to do is a map point and tell me to go here, really. That's what I want. I don't know how well you can do that. Set as a destination, yes. Let's see if Ignis can get us over there. Is it still a hardtop convertible? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right, Ignis, I'm going to trust you to drive. Because I'm probably shit at driving, so I don't want to tell you that. you have seriously outdone yourself. Yeah, never thought I'd see the day. And yet, here we are. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's take your first spin. What do you think you're doing? I will have sealed off the city by now. What do you think it's like inside? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. We'll see for ourselves in time. Indeed. Merely a question of when. Is anybody out there? It's a hunter there. I definitely heard something. Hold up. Hold up, though. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, find the person in distress. Everybody get out. Everybody get out. Can we get out? Yeah, there we go. Oh. There's somebody over here. I heard somebody as we passed this location. The hell do you go, man? Just as we were passing by, like, right here. So is that, a, is that a quest we can do? That's a map. Quest. Search and rescue. Somewhere in this giant area. Okay. Um, Alright, then let's look around. I thought I heard a voice in this direction, but I could be making that up. Might have been to our left instead. Just circle around. There's a beast up there. I mean, let's take him out, I'm I guess. Going in. From two Have we got any kind of plan? Crush the opposition. That's the plan. Okay. Safety first, everybody. Safety third. Safety third. Yeah. 
Okay, we can do a, some kind of link strike, maybe. We need to have everybody else here. I don't think we're going to be able to do a link strike here. Here we go, he's out. Sorry, man. Didn't do your, didn't yep. do your thing. Alright, so that wasn't the problem. Um, the trouble is, I think we're going to have... Okay, we were running the edge. Oh, I wonder if it's that big guy. Eyes forward. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, so it's not him. The hell is this guy? We we're right on the edge of it. I thought maybe it'd be because of the dual thorn, dual horn there, but apparently not. So to come up as we were passing by him on this road. Didn't think that was true, but he could also be anywhere inside the middle area, but I think we would see him waving or something, right? Let's find out. Yeah, I think you would be able to see him really easy here. I mean, I switched weapons just in case we had to fight the dual horn, but now it doesn't seem like... Yeah, yeah, I know how to do that. Where the heck did this guy go? I mean, there's a car off in the distance over there that seems to be broken down. There's nothing we can do about that right now. And all we have left is our car. So somewhere around this here area is a guy who needs help, and I don't know where that is. Going to the middle of the area just in case, but it seems unlikely. It's not actually that big of a spot. Can he be outside the area? That seems silly, but I'm going to head towards the dual, thorn, dual horn anyway, just in case. I mean, it doesn't no seem like... Oh, shit. He's MTVs. level 23. Time to cut and run. Time to cut and cut. Okay. No. Let's do the jump yeah. up. All right. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, oh no, I wanted to back away from that though. Oh, I got hit. Okay. Um, actually, we can. No, we can't. I was gonna say we can do Ignis's thing, but we can't do that yet. Oh, we got another dual horn. Got another one. Okay. Block? That was not a block. Getting by. Back away! No, I wanted to back away from it. I think we're in for a fight. Okay. Um, Ignis. Ignis. Everyone regroup. Right here. Yep. Theoretically, we should be able to do more damage that way. Although, not if he does that. Oh come on! I almost had the parry. Almost had the parry. Duly noted. Okay, wait a minute. Am I totally misremembering what his weaknesses are? I thought Javelin was going to do it. Javelin is totally doing it. Okay. For some reason, not as much as I want it to be. Prompto, can you gather some attention? Prompto! Okay, he's, yeah, he's gathered some attention. Blind stay. There we go. That's a good link. Nice. Good break, good break. Don't you think you're a little close? Keep your distance. Okay, um I don't want Prompter to do that again. So yeah, just take this guy down as much as you can. Back away, back away. Being on his side's bad. But blind side link is good. Nicely done, you guys. Be behind him the whole time. Be behind him the whole time. Not gonna work out very well though. Hey, Prompto. Oh no, actually, Gladiolus, can you actually knock him down? Gladio. Nice. He's almost out. He's almost out. Oh, get out. Get out. Get, out. get up, I said. 
No, no, no. Okay, we're in a problem here. We're in definite problem in our territory here. Okay, that's better. This dual horn's almost dead. We can totally take him out. There we go. Good link, good link. This other dual horn. Level 20 something. Um, don't know why the warp strike has to go to the front of him. That was not a good warp out. Um, give me a warp point. If I can heal up a little bit here. Okay, dodge over. Lock on. There we go. That's what I want. Blind side blank. Right. I should have dodged into that when I saw him moving. Okay. That's a problem. Um, Ignis, can you heal us up a little bit here? We must regroup! Sure. Okay. Uh -huh. Nice, nice, nice. That was not nice. That was actually bad. Get behind him, get behind him. Or he's almost down. Good link. Good, well done. No walk in the park. Still worked out pretty well though. Not the guy I wanted to look for though. I mean, that's still over in this direction somewhere. How do we miss him? Because see, when I heard it, I guess it could have been on our left, so it would be on this side. What? Sorry. Sorry there, Prompto. So maybe he'd be over here, but I don't see him. A Magitek engine. It's close. Where? Oh, yeah, there he is. There's a magic tech engine for sure. Is it gonna actually drop something? Um, yeah, it's landing. Well, that can't be good for anybody nearby. It's not landing, it's just deploying troops. That still can't be good for anybody nearby. I mean, there's other soldiers we were able to take out pretty easily. Oh, I should probably do that from the options menu then. Didn't realize that was a thing. That's a lot of guys. A lot of guys. They're on level six, though. I think we can take them. They are weak to daggers, which we should totally do. I mean, there's a lot of them. I think this is totally doable. I don't think this is the thing we were here to do, though. This will be quick. There we go. That's a good blind side. Except these guys don't seem to have a blind side. Okay. There's also the saber tooth in front of them. You gather some attention here. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have a blind side. Oh, okay, he does have a blind side. This one's just for you. But I want to make sure we have the ability to do the other stuff too. Want yeah, there we go. There we go. That's good. Gladio! Nice. Okay, take her to the saber tusk. Okay, I got hurt a little bit there, but it's okay. That was not a blindside strike. This should be, though. I mean, it's hard to tell which way these guys are the robots. Okay, he's down, though. Get behind him, maybe? I mean, somehow he hurt me there. I'm not exactly sure how that works. We're now full up. Ignis. Heal everyone, please. Thank you. Nicely done. And there's the this guy right here. Yeah, that's not the guy I want to deal with. But... That was a good parry? That was totally a good parry. Saber tooth down, saber claw, whatever. <laughs> nicely done, nicely done. That was it? Nope, one more. There we go. Use them. 
Uh -huh. <laughs> a little exhausting, but it worked out. We still haven't found... No um, use hanging around here. I mean, we Indeed. knocked out the guys, which I like, but... Where the hell's the person in distress? I got no idea. I've been all over the place. I haven't seen anybody. Could he be up? I mean, that was like right on the edge, though, where we parked. So he's somewhere down maybe this way. Seems weird to be hiding in a bush if he needs help, right? So, I don't know. Yeah, because it's not along the cliff way because... I mean, I guess it could be. I mean, where we parked is right along the edge, but maybe, like, he could be up on the cliff somewhere and we didn't see him. Yeah, yeah, I know the time quests are available. So I'm going to shut off those hints between episodes here. Well, I don't know where this guy is. don't know where he could be. But that'll do it for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Final Fantasy XV. I'm PC Universe. You're PC Universe 2. And I'll see you guys next time.